What's going on guys, Balkan Arctic here and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to open up Revit files on your mobile phone. So every now and then you're going to find yourself in a situation where you would like to open up some Revit file but you don't really have access to a computer so you can only use your phone. You just want to check something out to just to make sure have you done this, have you done that, do you have to change something or if you need some information from that uh, from that project. So here I've got my uh, my cell phone so you need a smartphone I'm using an Android but I'm sure it works the same uh, if you're using an Apple uh, iPhone so anyway let me bring this camera up a bit yeah so here I'm just in the App Store and I'm just going to be typing in a, a 360 which is the kind of the, the app that does this so let's see a360 yeah so it's called a uh, cat viewer now this doesn't mean that uh, a an AutoCAD viewer it actually opens up uh, a, a lot of files so if I go here to read more you can see here are all of the files that uh, you can open up using this cat viewer and one of them is of course Revit so I, I already downloaded this app as you can see it's uh, already on my phone so I'm not going to be installing it but I'm just going to be showing you how to download something from your email and then how to open it and view it on your phone so here as you can see I've emailed myself uh, one of my 3D models from a tutorial. So I'm just going to select it and uh, download it so it just kind of starts this uh, downloading process. And as you can see it automatically opened up the, the app, the A360 app, but you can cancel out of that and then you can find it on your phone, find the app open the app up and then you can go here and find uh, where it is so I think it's somewhere over here so if I look and find for projects or you can search over here or you can go and then uh, go here and add a project so upload file so you open it up and here's the, the, the file that I want to be using so I'm just going to upload it over here so let's just wait for a second Okay, so now the file has been downloaded, so we just need to click it here, and now it's opening up. Okay, it's having some issues, and this depends on the file size, but sometimes it won't be able to open up larger files. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to be opening up this older file that I've already opened up. So as you can see, that it depends on your uh, phone's processing power. Uh, that was kind of a 30 megabyte uh, file, so it's a bit larger, so it doesn't work. This is a, a lot smaller file, so as you can see, it works. So basically, just by using your thumb, you can kind of navigate around just like you're in Revit. But of course, it's different than using a mouse pad. Then you can kind of... Uh, zoom in as you would on I don't know something like a Google Maps or something like that So you can kind of orbit around this is that interior project that they've done. So maybe I can uh, Go outside a bit, but as you can see it's only this 3d view But uh, you can go here and open this up and go to parts and as you can see here You've got some views, but even if you open up something like level one, it just freezes like this So it it, it doesn't work that well uh, Okay, we've I've accidentally gone out of it. Wait for a second. Okay, here it is. Yeah, so it doesn't work. It doesn't show you kind of the floor plans and all of that stuff. You can only see the 3D model, but that's okay. You can still see everything you need. And let's say we want to see inside of this living room. So we can just select this uh, ceiling and then hit this button and now it's hidden. And if you want to show it again, you can go and just click anywhere and just uh, basically unhide elements. But let's hide it for now so we can see the living room better. Now you can go around and you can maybe, let's say you, you like this lamp and you want to see it a bit better, you can come in, select it and then go and isolate. Oops, it now sh show the file, sorry. Uh, let's go, select the lamp and then you can isolate just the lamp and now we can orbit around and just view uh, that that lamp that we have over there and uh, again to go back just click here and unisolate everything now of course if you want to make some uh, I don't know some uh, notes or you want to take some notes and you want to maybe add some messages you can use this uh, here pen as you can see in the corner so you just hit that and now you can kind of 
select this and I don't know say it should go up so maybe the ceiling should be a bit higher or something like that so you can make uh, kind of changes like that and then you hit here post and then it saves that change and uh, then you can view it on your phone or you can view it on your A360 account on your computer later on so that's kind of a cool option so let's exit out of that and uh, as far as orbiting uh, I, I found that maybe selecting one of the elements and then orbiting around that element is the easiest way to navigate it's uh, a lot easier than just to go kind of uh, go around and it's uh, a lot more difficult than on the computer so uh, it, it might take some time before getting used to but let's say we want to enter this house so you can now use this joystick over here as you can see so that part so you just select that and you kinda do a little walk around so you can kinda enter the room like you're walking around so that's quite a cool it has that that option maybe you can go all the way around see the TV and maybe exit exit around and if ever if you ever get lost and you don't know where you are you just hit this little house and then it orbits to the original position that you started with and then you can maybe zoom in and find what, what you want to view but anyway that's this uh, simple little viewer for viewing your Revit projects from your email it's actually quite cool and it can be useful sometimes now it's not Revit you can't edit you can't model in here but it's just a cool little simple viewer anyway that's it for this uh, tutorial thank you for watching please subscribe like and share this video and if you have any questions comments or suggestions for future tutorials leave them in the comment section below thank you for watching and have a nice day